and welcome to this Backwards Compatible Comics review. Today we're going to be looking at Lady Killer number 3. Now we've already um, reviewed Lady Killer issue number 2 um, and in that issue we were going on quite a lot about uh, the art from um, Julie Jones and the colours from Laura Aldred. Now um, obviously I will say that they're both brilliant in this and, and their strength continues so it is something where if you do like that, that visual style you can see in the cover and also from the pages there it's very detailed it's got uh, really sort of pastely colors but um, everyone's looks are quite cool and everyone's drawn quite realistically uh, obviously with a, with a slight little bit of a of a taint um, on especially the mother shula because she just looks great but um, what we're really looking at with this story is Jamie uh, Jamie S. Rich and Jolie Jones, obviously, because they both write it together. But what really seems to be happening is that this story's um, really pushing along. So we, we've got to know Josie. We've got to know her in a in a in a professional sense. I mean, professional as in she is a professional, um, and also in a home sense as well. But what we're really be getting to find now is how she reacts to um, the assignments that are given to her, but also how she deals with her mother-in-law now she has this bit of a streak and you can see in her eyes that she is a bit of a bit of a tough nut to crack but in this in this issue you do see um, quite a variety of sides it all kicks off at a party and, and goes on from there so obviously I'm not going to spoil because this is an early review but all I can say is that um, in terms of what's going on it really does move along the story quite nicely and I was quite intrigued and quite happy with the way that the story played out in the end um, Lady Killer my issue is, is um, I hope this is not going to be uh, a, a smaller series. I really do hope that, that um, Dark Horse decides to give it a bit longer because there's definitely um, something there that they could make this a hell of a lot of a bigger series. Whether they are going to or not, maybe um, the writers will um, find out that they're kind of missing out um, or maybe... Yeah, or maybe they they tell their story and they want to get out. But I, you know, I can see uh, Josie having legs. Sounds a bit odd, but I can definitely see her um, becoming you know part, part a character in her own right, and I really um, do think that this is a series worth picking up. I would not suggest picking it up from here. I would suggest going back to um, issue one, even maybe uh, in a way for issue two. But issue one definitely really does give you a huge grounding. Um, and obviously, uh, unfortunately, the problem with issue three is that you you will miss that that the first initial um, understanding of uh, who Mother Shula basically is, and obviously more importantly where Josie is and where she's coming from. So. Um, again though, uh, Lady Killer, the series continues to get stronger and stronger. Uh, this is issue three. I think issue two has already gone for a second printing. So, you know, I really, this is definitely a series that we're going to suggest that you pick up either, you know, singly or in trades or go digital, whichever way you want to go really. But uh, yeah, I, I'm enjoying it in, immensely and I do think it's well worth the price. Okay, thank you very much for listening uh, and watching. Uh, being Paul for Battle Compatible and good night. Or good morning or good evening, whichever way around you are. Take care. Bye-bye.